and getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. The tallest building in Michigan, the Renaissance Center. Part of the scenery tonight as we come to you live from Detroit. Welcome everyone to a great Sunday night with the NBA here on 2K Sports. With David Aldridge on our sideline and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. As we approach the playoffs, let's now take a look at what is shaping up in the West. If you look at Dallas, right now at the playoff start, they would have the seventh seed. And you know, for the Mavericks, they've been strong at times this season, but they still have some hope. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I just don't think they're a championship caliber team. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, but they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. Now let's send it down to David Aldridge, standing by from the sidelines. David? More than 40 years ago, the Oscar Robertson rule ushered in the new era of free agency in the NBA. In the last decade, players have taken personal agency. They've pulled up stakes and forced trades in search of an ideal environment. Now, sometimes for teams on the losing end of that, it's a bitter pill to swallow. But this is the new reality of the NBA. Kevin? It is indeed, D.A., thank you. Well, Smitty, for players and teams that are out of the playoff hunt, how do they stay motivated here to go the uh, rest of the season every night, every practice, every trip? And I think that's when the organization, your captains, your coaches, you got to talk about being a pro. Sometimes you lose focus. You're not in the playoffs, and maybe your team that was supposed to be or not slated to be in the playoffs, you still are a professional. You have to have a professional approach. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Doncic and Porzingis, the incredible forward pair. Allen is out there with Green, and it's Howard in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Pistons, on the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Jackson and Kennard pair up at the one and the two. Oh, oh what a play! What a <laughs> That's the leadership they're looking for from Jackson. Staying patient, surveying the court, locates the open man. Robinson against Doncic. Back to Allen. Five on the clock. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Andre Drummond picks one up. The Mavericks shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And they've been mediocre all season long. Just about 72% from the line. Shooting two. The first one falls. Well, the Pistons, one of the more successful franchises in NBA history. Three titles and many other trips to the NBA Finals. Only a handful of franchises can say that. And Allen drops them both. And, Smitty, you were talking about the Pistons, a history of success, of championships. But the last 10 years have been difficult. Pistons have struggled the last decade. You're so right, Kevin. But this team has a track record of not staying down for long. Detroit doing what they can to return to championship contention. Back to Green. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That'll be his second foul of the game. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. The Pistons making a change here. Davis has checked in. The wide open look here for Perzingis. A three-pointer is right on target. Uh, I, I don't think we'll ever see another seven-foot-three player who can drain the three like Porzingis. He, he takes the idea of that inside-outside threat to a whole nother level. Kennard kicks to Jackson. Robinson against Doncic. 
Let's a floater go. And Robinson with the layup. Robinson's got his second basket of the night. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. Allen finds Doncic over Robinson. That one rolling around and rims out. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. It's stolen by Allen. And now it's Allen running. He can go all the way. And that one is good. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Jackson against Allen. Kept alive. Davis goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Howard, the pass to Persingas. Allen outside. The tray. The shot. No good. And it's Detroit the other way. Last time they came together was in Dallas where they fell to the Mavericks. Man, that game goes down to the wire. Both teams exhausted. But only one has something left for the encore. This is what we love about the NBA. Epic matchups almost every night. What other sport has that? Outside, green. Down low. Here's Howard. That shot misses. Davis with some nice D. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Pistons. The pass to Kennard. Six on the shot clock. Trying to find Porzingis. That's it to him. The shot's good from Griffin. This is what you want out of your offense. A high percentage look for Blake Griffin. People wonder how happy Blake Griffin would be after being traded from L.A. to Detroit a few years back. He has completely embraced the city, and Motown loves him back as well, quickly becoming a fan favorite. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And with Griffin, he's also embraced Detroit's situation, trying to, trying to build a contender. Griffin said he feels like he's a part of building something special here in Detroit. You have to admire how quickly Blake has gone all in for the Pistons franchise. Makers checked in for Davis. John Luer comes in for Blake Griffin. And it's TJ McConnell in for Jackson. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Williams, he's checked in for Howard. Lyle comes in for Persingas. Azania, he's checked in for Doncic. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Green. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Here's Kanon. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And Kennard came into the league viewed mostly as a shooter, but he's been able to provide much more than that. I mean, better than you think when he puts the ball on the floor. Learning how to lean into defenders and step back to open up the shot is a better playmaker than he gets credit for, and we should see him take on a larger role as he develops. First free throw is good. Interesting, Smitty. We're seeing guys like Dirk and Vince Carter play into their 40s. Uh, I'm wondering if this is a, a byproduct of improved nutrition and conditioning and if that accelerates this trend. I, I think it does, Kevin. I also agree to add to that. I think the game is less physical. I think a lot of those guys are taking care of themselves, but when the game is not as physical, it's a lot more perimeter. You can play longer. I'm curious, Kevin. Will anybody play into their 50s? <laughs> you know, wouldn't that be amazing? That's, that's a good question. And he can't stop the run as he misses. 
No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. McConnell kicks to Lou. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. This is as good as it gets for first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. 56 seconds left in the first quarter. And here is Hardaway. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Luer against Lyons. Pass to Hazania. Goes back up. That one, no good. And Detroit the other way now. McConnell passes to Kennard. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Luer dishes to Robinson. No good that time. Great D that time from Hardaway. Allen left side. Back to Hezonia. Over Robinson. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Pistons lead by seven. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Andre Drummond says he's learned how to be a leader on this team. Watching previous guys who've led this team and did the things that they did, I write that kind of stuff in the back of my head and just say, you know, this is something I need to do this. Or if I see something I didn't like, you know, this is something I probably will stay away from. And I think now that I'm in a role where I could kind of lead this team, I kind of have the blueprint on what I need to do to make this team successful. You know, Greg, with Blake Griffin, he's got somebody to take some of that leadership role alongside him. And those two will be pivotal in deciding just how good this team can be. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And what stands out to you from the Pistons so far in this one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. On the floor for Dallas, we've got Allen. Lyles out there with Williams. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Hezonia in at the three spot. Well, a new start in Detroit for Dwayne Casey. Led the team to the playoffs in his first season. It seems to be a great match between the team and their coach. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Shot from the wing. Rebound by the Pistons. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, in Blake Griffin, the Pistons have their biggest star in years, probably going back to their championship team of 2004. A return to all-star form for Blake meant tremendous timeout, individual timeout. numbers last season. And the Pistons hadn't won a playoff game in more than a decade. Still not the result they want in 2019. The Pistons will be trying to capitalize during Blake's prime. Kevin, we'll see where this franchise goes from here. We sure will, David, but he's a terrific player. Thank you so much. And for Casey, Steve, he had the pedigree of success that the Pistons wanted. Also, Casey, I thought, was brought in to change the mindset of this team. He immediately was able to change the culture of the Pistons. Setting a new tone goes a long way for a developing team. in for the Pistons. Jackson comes in for Robinson. Then for the Mavericks, Porzingis is checked in for Trey Lyles. Luka Doncic comes in for his own. And it's Green in for Kadeem Allen. No good on that one. Mavericks trail by five. Hardaway passes to Williams. And Williams throws it down. 
that those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. Green taking his time here. Master Williams. Pulls it up. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. And it's now only a one-point Piston lead. And as Dirk Nowitzki walks off into the sunset, the Mavericks seem to have found their next European superstar in Luka Doncic. The number three pick in last year's draft had a rookie season for the ages. Not loose. Zingas with the steal. Here's Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. Creative at finding ways to just cut inside there. Doncic, a guy you must keep your eyes on. And Doncic, the EuroLeague MVP, led Real Madrid to a title. EuroLeague Finals MVP, all at the tender age of 19. Incredibly accomplished. Despite that, slipped a little bit in the draft into the waiting arms of the man who moved up two spots to get him. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Detroit. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for Dallas. Only given up two points this quarter. Back to Doncic. Passes it to Howard. Hard away against Jackson. And the pass to Persingas. Four on the clock. The fadeaway. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And they're finally starting to shake off the horrible shooting slump they suffered there through the first quarter. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And Greg, as many expected, Przingis getting a huge deal from Dallas to keep him a Mav for a long time. The Mavs feel he can be better than he was before the injury. Love the idea of pairing him long term with Doncic. Sign him to a lengthy and sizable deal to be the core of their future. Don Makers checked in for Ed Davis. And it seems like we've seen more and more of these guys in recent years. Big men who can shoot the three. Over the last month, these have been the best of them. Fourth, Blake Griffin. And, you know, there was a time in the league when you wouldn't see a group of big guys like this. But the game has evolved. Versatility now is why we see so many bigs that can just flat out shoot it from anywhere. To have big men like these who can give you points from inside and outside gives teams an added dimension that teams love to have. Hits the three-point bomb. Jackson's got the game tied up here for the Pistons. Looking at Reggie's motion, it's a little bit of a push shot, but able to get it to go. Now, Doncic coming in off a 10-point performance last game out. Green finds Porzingis. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Porzingis has got the lead back up to three now for Dallas. McConnell passes to Jackson. Over Hardaway. They grab their own miss. Maker, excellent D from Howard. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Greg, you look at the young Luka Doncic. What impresses you the most right now about his game? Well, Kevin, you just don't see many players his height who can handle and, and make step-back threes. Also, his confidence... He came into the league never doubting that he could dominate a game. And don't forget about his brilliance as a passer. That free throw good from Doncic. Yeah, the versatility and competitive fire of Doncic is impressive. You, you can just tell this kid loves to play the game. Back to McConnell. And easy two points on the layup. McConnell's got his first points of the night. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure 
on the interior defenders with their work down low. Doncic bounce back. Hezonia finds Howard over Maker. Gets it to fall from the right block. Howard's got the lead up to six now for the man. And since the first quarter, we've seen them ease off on that long-range affair. And frankly, that's probably a good idea. McConnell passes to Jackson. It's a floater. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Jackson's got five points in the quarter. If you play Reggie to take it all the way, this is what he can do. Quick floater over the top. And now, here's his own young. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Clippers. McConnell scanning the floor. Here's Griffin. No good on the last second attempt there. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's Dallas up four. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you enjoyed the competitive first half of action. Ernie Johnson here welcoming you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. That guy right there is Shaquille O'Neal. And that guy right there is Kenny the Jet Smith. That was a rough ride in the first quarter for Dallas. They struggled to find an offensive rhythm or come up with enough stops and sunk into a seven-point hole by the end of the period. There was a noticeable difference in their second quarter performance when suddenly they were the team controlling the action and are now holding a four-point lead at the half. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Dallas played? I was surprised at how comfortable they seemed here on the road. The hostile crowd, that didn't bother them at all. And I want to see if they can keep that up in the second half. And Jack, what are your thoughts on Detroit? Well, the reserves came in and played like starters. Gave them some big points off the bench. It would be no surprise to see them get more minutes in the second half. They definitely deserve it. Though sometimes when you get more minutes, you get exposed. We shall see. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. And it's been a clinic out there by Kristaps Porzingis. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up for the second half. On the floor for Detroit, Jackson and Kennard pair up at the one and the two. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. And it's Robinson in at the three spot. Well, Smitty, the game is evolving. We know that. New moves and techniques developed. Talk about some that have grown in popularity since the time of your retirement to now. You know, the step back is one. And then also the step, step, yes. step back yes. is one. The Euro step. And I think also guys right now being able to launch their bodies into guys. I don't want to say it's a move, but that's how guys are playing. Because you ha can't hand check, guys are throwing their body into the defender on the move even more. Drummond passes to Jackson for the tie. Second chance shot, and the layup is good. Jackson's got it all tied up now for Detroit. A rare offensive rebound for Reggie Jackson, but he knows what to do with it once he gets it. Allen kicks to Doncic. Robinson against Green. Doncic outside. Fires it up. That one off the back iron and out. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Dwayne Casey was the 2018 Coach of the Year, but as we all know, he was fired after that same season by the Raptors. Casey's found a home in Detroit. 
Casey said, I have no regrets. Winston Churchill said, success consists of going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. And that's what I've done. So Kevin, Dwayne Casey is still pounding the rock. He sure is, and I like that Churchill quote as well. Thanks, David. Fires at the elbow. And there's another one for the Pistons. Just crushing it here. 80% to start the half. Dallas calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Davis comes in for Blake Griffin, and it's John Lure in for Robinson. Dallas also making some changes. Williams, he's checked in for Howard. Hardaway is subbed in for Green. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Hardaway with a wide open look. Oh, good on the triple. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Jackson with it. Hardaway picks him up. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. That is his first foul of the game. Jackson kicks to Davis. Shot clock at five. Back to Jackson. Drummond trying to get himself free. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. And Joe Allen will bring it up for the Mavericks. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That game is the first and last of their home start. To the inside. Well-placed alley pass into the layup. And the Pistons lead by four. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. From 13, the shot misses. Some solid defense there from Jackson. And with Reggie Jackson at the point, you're going to get more of a score than a playmate. And that's okay, as long as you plan for that with your assistant. Reggie Jackson is great at creating for himself, but you'd like to see him do a little bit more to set up the rest of his team. Count it. Now it's a six-point piston lead. Oh, great ball movement there. The Mavericks have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Back to Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. It has the vertical needed to dunk it. Doncic showing off the power and flair that he possesses. Lure up top. Back to Jackson. Launches a three. It's hauled in by Persingas. Mavericks trail by four. Here's Doncic. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. It's Hardaway with the drive. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Lure with it. He's picked up by Doncic. And Drummond throws it down. There's not many that dunks it as powerful as Andre Drummond. He's explosive at 280 pounds. Dallas calls timeout. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Thon Makers checked in for Drummond. Robinson comes in for Lure. And it's TJ McConnell in for Luke Kanaan. And then for Dallas. Miles checked in for Przingis. Hezanya comes in for Hardaway. And it's Green in for Allen. Back to Doncic. Just five to shoot. A floater. And it goes down two points. Doncic has got nine points. 
and certainly not lacking in confidence. When Doncic gets these inside looks, he just jumps all over. Inside, and Davis throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Lyles. Back to Doncic. Azonia up top. Guarded by Jackson. Here's Doncic. Tries again. Williams can't hit. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. And so it's the Detroit Pistons with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we'll be back with you shortly. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the court for the Mavericks. Doncic out there with Green. Then there's Howard. Then it's Pizzonia. And it's Lyles in at the four. And the level of concentration that Doncic has, even under pressure, this guy is cool as a cucumber. And the dunk by Jackson. Just rubbing it in their faces with that one. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And the deepest knows he's relentless. You have to try and match that intensity. Green inside the three-point line. That one a little long. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Robinson misses. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Azania, the pass to Green. A putback, and Howard with the second chance points. Uh, and Howard really brings it on the offensive glass, using that wide wingspan to come up with those loose balls. Outside Robinson. to Griffin shooting foul as the whistle blows he'll shoot two free throws and guys one thing that has been interesting to see since Blake Griffin came to Detroit is how he's developed as a leader it has come into his own with how he takes responsibility for the team's play Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Griffin. And with Griffin, you look at his time on the Clippers, and for most of his career, he was more of a second in command. Coach Casey said last year, early on, that Griffin is the leader of this team, and Blake took it upon himself to step up to the challenge. It makes sense no matter how you look at it. He's their best player and needs to be one of the leaders. Green with the ball. Doncic feeling it out. Back to Green. Here's Lyles. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Lyles got his first points in this one. The veteran presence of Danny Green keeping his eyes up, finding his teammate wide open. Out 
outside Jackson. He dishes it to Griffin. Nice move. And that's two points on the layup. Griffin's got four this quarter. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Here's Doncic. Detroit with the rebound. Makers got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Jackson. Griffin against Lyons. The 19-foot shot. A nice shot by Griffin. Griffin's got the lead up to eight now for the Pistons. When he's draining jump shots, it's hard to know what you want to do defensively. What do you take away? Green finds Doncic. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Thon Maker. And so confident. He, even amongst the trees, Doncic is fantastic at forcing the issue close to the rim. <laughs> And the first one at the line is good. A different look here for Detroit. Andre Drummond comes in for Maker. And it's Kennard in for T.J. McConnell. Dallas also making some changes. Zinkis, he's checked in for Trey Lyles. And it's Kadeem Allen in there for Hazania. No free throws good from Doncic. Pistons leading by six. Outside Jackson to the wing right side. Porzingis with the block. And with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. Allen gets to Green. Back to Allen. Green dishes to Allen. Dallas moving the ball around. Doncic bounce pass. On the clock. The offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Allen. Passes it to Persingas. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Here's Kennard. One fifty-two left here in the fourth quarter. Now the pass to Robinson. Detroit needs to get off the shot. Drummond. It's rebounded by Dallas. Persingas has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Anjic passes to Howard. And Howard with the stuff. And you know Howard wants that responsibility offensively. And that time he comes through for his team. Persingas against Griffin. D from Porzingis. Mavericks trail by four. Green passes to Howard. And it's sent back by Drummond. Andre Drummond with the wingspan of seven foot six. It's going to be hard to get it over him. Kennard kicks to Jackson. Pass to Griffin. Can they get it? Porzingis with the block. It's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. There's 38 seconds left in the game. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Allen dishes to Green. Back to Allen. Teardrop shot. Detroit with the rebound. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. And he commits the intentional foul. Shooting. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. Despite all the injuries, Griffin was given the big contract. That kind of thing is a guessing game, but with high stakes. He's off on the free throw and able to get that second one to drop in. And the Mavericks call time here. They're behind by five. 17 seconds left to play in the final quarter. What's your take, guys? An uphill climb. They need everything to break their way. They also need to get the best shot you can as quickly as you can, and then immediately five. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Reggie Jackson. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Mavericks with possession here. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Kennard, the pass to Robinson. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. You know, he was the 24th pick in 2011. I think it's safe for us to say Jackson's outplayed that draft slot. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. And the Mavericks call time here. They're down by seven. Seven seconds left in the fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, go Detroit Pistons cancel. Seven seconds left to play here in the fourth. And here's Lucas. And so the Pistons take the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, they're just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time.